A synthesis matrix is a tool to help visualize where sources fit together. Think of synthesis as the opposite of analysis. If you are analyzing something, like a book or a movie, you are essentially taking it apart to find meaning. In synthesis, you are putting things together to find meaning. In this case, you are putting together academic sources to make meaning. The synthesis matrix puts sources on the horizontal axis and main ideas on the vertical axis. Be sure you clearly identify each source on the horizontal axis so you don't accidentally lose track of something later on. If we look at the example matrix here, you'll see what it can look like. Let's assume our topic is women in World War II. Suppose in all the reading we've done, the two main ideas that seem to come up are alternation of women's roles because of World War II, and hardships and oppositions women faced. Across the horizontal axis of the matrix, we have placed the author's names from our sources. In the boxes are paraphrases and quotations that have to do with the main idea from the vertical axis. Notice that each of the paraphrases and quotes has a page number citation from the source. This is important. You'll want to be able to go back and find an idea in your source when you start to write the literature review. You'll also note that the opposing viewpoint isn't necessarily represented in its own sources. As you can see, this chart points out quotations and paraphrases from the sources that might suggest that times have not changed very much for women. After your chart is complete, notice patterns of information. You may find that your sources at times discuss very similar material, or that they sometimes deal with completely different aspects of your topic. These patterns can be useful in creating a thesis statement that can guide your writing and keep you focused as you begin your draft.